I want to show a quick video about a feature on Epicore called Epicore Enterprise Search. If you go over to the binoculars, you'll notice there's three search functions. One for Enterprise Search, Menu Search, which is your normal one, and Google Search. If you go to Enterprise Search, in here you can search any job customer sales order or purchase order so for example if you enter lamb and hit enter the search will bring over anything associated with lamb if you want to look at the shipments for lamb you can go under the tag section here and click on shipments and you can see all the shipments that we're taking or that were done for lamb Here's another example, so if you want to look at Clever, currently right now it's under shipments, but you can go to view all sources and it will show you everything about Clever. If you want to look at, if you want to look by a sales order, you can enter the sales order number. And here are all the sales order that you're looking for. If you want to look at the sales order directly, you can click on this one and it will bring you to the sales order. Depending on what access and what plant access you have, say that you're looking for a job. And currently, right now, if you notice that we're in Fremont, you can enter FR080. 1278 and this is a Fremont job. Hit search and it comes up with all the jobs. So now this is a Fremont job and you're in Deming. So you can click on the link and then once it pops up you'll notice that it'll actually open up the job in the Fremont plant which is good. You should be also able to look up invoices and purchase orders. Here is a purchase order. Here are the purchase orders you can look up. If, for example, you wanted to look at um, all the purchase orders that Chuck did for Annexter, you can enter Chuck Annexter 10. And there they are. If you want to look at anything from <clears throat> yesterday and enter 11, 28, 2018. And here are all the purchase orders that Chuck created on the 28th. The other things you can check shipments as well. So I want to know what was shipped by lamb in Guadalajara? And here are all the shipments for lamb in Guadalajara. The other nice feature of this is that you can also do it on the web browser without being logged into Epicor. So if you bring over your web browser and on the address bar you enter this ccca epi 21-prod slash ees slash production slash search it will bring you to this so now we can just do lamb shipment jvl while you can't open epicor through these links it does give you enough information, for example, for a salesperson who wanted to know if their shipment has been gone. So there's the, the packing slip number that's been shipped on what day, if there's a how it was shipped, and there's the tracking ship number. So from here, you can actually just highlight this. You can search, and there's your shipments, all your shipments on that one. Again. This feature is available 
when you go to your search and enterprise search. Here's an example that it wouldn't not work. So any lamb shipments and deming. It should return nothing. There you go. And the last issue with this is that um, every night at midnight we index our database to get all this information. So this is useful if you're looking for anything before today. If you're looking for something that's done today, this won't be indexed into the search criteria. Once again, this is really useful if you're looking for stuff in the past. So as of yesterday, uh, not as of today. If you have any questions, just give me a call or send me an email.